we created this premium WordPress theme. So now that we have it all created, I want to build a little storefront on Bootstrap WP so I can sell this premium theme. So in order to do that, I'm going to use a plugin called Easy Digital Downloads, which is right here. You can download it from here, or we can go into the dashboard and install it through the plugins option. Right now, I'm just on a local dev environment. That's why you see dev needs a different name. So I like to do all my you know development locally so I can test it and make sure it all works before pushing out live. If you need help, or if you haven't been following the tutorials along, you can go to bootstrapwp.com and in the very first tutorial series it shows you how to set up a local environment. But let's get started. So from the dashboard I'm just going to go into plugins, add new, and I'm going to look for easy digital downloads, search for it. Here it is. Looks like I already have it installed, probably because I was testing it. So in our installed plugins, or you can install it. Let's go ahead and activate it. So you can see here it's activated. It comes to this welcome screen, kind of goes over what's new, getting started. So now that it's enabled, you'll see this little downloads link over here. And this is pretty much a custom post type like we set up in the previous tutorials for the portfolio but the plugin developer of easy digital downloads created a custom post type called downloads and in here we have all these different options so if we go to all downloads you can see here that I was testing out a store for material design themes that I'm currently using um, easy digital downloads on so if we go and edit an item you can see that we have a lot of different options here for easy digital downloads. Over here in the right sidebar, we have the download log, the sales log, earnings reports. This is all prepackaged with easy digital downloads. Here you can, just like a normal post, fill out the title, give whatever your, the digital download is, a little description. Here's where you can set up download prices they have variable pricing which means you can you know set up different prices for single license single licenses extended licenses etc if you don't want to do that you can you know just have one price it's a pretty nice feature there down here you can upload the file that when someone purchases your theme this is the file that will be attached in the email that they receive you can also add several different files and also give it a default price assignment. So a couple notes here. You can see right here that it says special notes or instruction for this product. These notes will be added to the purchase receipt. So maybe you have you know a YouTube video that goes over how to set up your theme or some special instructions for your download. You want to include those here. The downloads custom post type also has these categories. So like we did in our portfolio custom post type, you can set different categories. So maybe you can set up a filter on the front end where you know users can filter through different digital downloads. In this case, it'll be themes. We have tags, which is pretty normal. And then we have download settings. So you can Easy Digital Downloads automatically adds a button at the end of the single post for users to uh, click on it so it goes to the shopping cart. You can disable that. You can also have it do different things here with Add Cart and Buy Now. So Add the Cart will, of course, just add it to the cart and keep them on the page and Buy Now will take them to the checkout page. So if we actually view this download, right now we don't have any of the custom template files for easy digital downloads so you'll notice that it just uses the single .php template file. In the next few tutorials we'll go over how to create these custom page templates so you can style and make your single page and your archive page for the easy digital downloads look however you'd want. 
So we'll go over a couple other options. Of course, you can add a new digital download. There's categories and tags. There's a payment history. This will, you know, give the person give you the person's email that purchased the theme, the amount, the date, the user if you make them sign up. We have customers. You can also set up discount codes, which is nice. So maybe you can send out a discount code to your mailing list to give them you know, discounts, certain percentages. You can set max uses, start date, and an expiration date. Reports tab. When you actually start getting sales, you'll see the graph change. Settings tab. So we're not going to go too much into these settings, but you can click through these tabs and see all the different options you have with easy digital downloads. It's pretty easy to set up. You just provide your PayPal email address, hit save changes, and if that's the only thing you're using is PayPal, then it'll automatically send that money to your PayPal account and automatically send the download email to your customer. It's very nice. And as you purchase add-ons and install them, you'll see more tabs appear and there may be some you know like licensing fields that you need to fill out in order to continue to use those add-ons. So you can see here that these extensions are actually the add-ons that you can add to Easy Digital Downloads. So that's a pretty brief overview of Easy Digital Downloads. I'm not going to bore you too much there. I want to get into how to actually set this up in a WordPress theme so you can start displaying digital downloads and start making some money.